Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists nurse practitioners with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about what is tail insurance for a nurse practitioner. So uh, anytime a nurse practitioner is employed, uh, they need to have professional liability insurance, also known as malpractice insurance. Uh, and depending upon what type of policy it is, they may need tail insurance. So let's first break down the different types of policies for a nurse practitioner. So uh, normally there's two types of main policies. One is called occurrence-based, then the other is called claims-made. And so uh, in an occurrence-based policy, a policy has to be in effect when the malpractice occurs. This means tail insurance is unnecessary for occurrence-based insurance. Um, now, why would someone go with occurrence over claims made? Uh, well, uh, it's kind of a math equation, but occurrence coverage generally costs about a third more than claims made coverage. And I find most employers, maybe some smaller owned physician practices, um, depending upon what state you are, maybe a, you know, a smaller nurse practitioner owned practice. Uh, if it's an employer, normally, they'll have a claims made policy and then they may, uh, they'll pay for the underlying premium. So how much they pay to, uh, you know, insure the nurse practitioner per year, uh, but they may put the cost of the tail insurance upon the nurse practitioner when the contract terminates. So going back to occurrence based insurance, uh, you do not need tail insurance for that. So when you do need tail insurance is if there's a claims made policy and that means a policy has to be in effect when the claim is actually made. So uh, think of the scenario where an, uh, an NP leaves an employer. Well, there's going to be a, a window from the last patient they see for that employer until the last day that patient can sue the nurse practitioner. So normally uh, the uh, statute of limitations, so the how long a person has to sue someone for malpractice in most states is two years from when you either knew or should have known that the malpractice occurred. There are some exceptions uh, for minors when they become uh, adults and that type of thing, but just like a general rule of thumb is two years a pretty standard amount. So in that scenario, the NP would need a policy that covers that gap in between when they leave and then the last day they can be sued, and that's called tail insurance, also known as extended reporting coverage as well. So uh, I find it's probably uh, more likely than not that if the NP is with a smaller group, they'll have to pay for the tail, whereas if they're uh, you know, with the hospital, hospital network, maybe a, a large corporate-owned practice, usually the um, tail costs will go to the either hospital or cor corporation. So how much does it cost? Uh, well, tail insurance uh, is around twice what your annual premium is. So for most nurse practitioners, their annual premium falls somewhere between 1500 to 2250 per year. So um, if, let's just say it's a 1500 a year annual premium, just multiply it by two, tail cost will be around $3,000. Now, uh, this is a one-time payment. You do not need to pay for, uh, you know, every year that you have tail coverage. And then there are also different lengths for tail insurance. So it could just be that short, you know, short two-year window. Uh, you could have it indefinitely, it could be for five years, eight years, it just depends. And then the longer the tail, the more expensive it is. Um, but as I said before, usually it's gonna be somewhere, but you know, on average twice, but anywhere from like 150% all the way up to 300%. Now, uh, if you're a nurse, nurse practitioner and you're negotiating an employment contract, this certainly could be something you could look at as far as who pays for the tail costs. I mean, it's not prohibitively expensive for a nurse practitioner. Um, however, it still is gonna be thousands of dollars that you'll have to pay. Uh, and for NPs that jump around, uh, you know, you don't wanna have to pay two or $3,000 every time you, you leave a job. So 
This certainly is something you can negotiate with the employer. Now, if they're unwilling to pay for the entire cost, uh, one thing that we've found success in is asking the employer if they would then forgive a portion of it on an annual basis. So for instance, let's just say we would say to the employer, okay, uh, for every year that the nurse practitioner is employed, you'll forgive 25% of the tail cost uh, or cover 25% of the tail cost. Is, I guess is probably a better way of saying it. So uh, let's say a nurse practitioner has been there for two years, they leave, then basically they would split 50-50 the cost of tail with the employer. And then if they were to stay there for four years and then leave, then they wouldn't have to pay for any tail insurance. Uh, another way of having tail paid for is having your new employer pay for your old tail. That's called nose coverage. Uh, some employers will do that. You know, it's almost like a signing bonus in some way uh, that they'll pay for your old tail. So that's another way of getting out of it. Uh, and then lastly, another way of getting out of it is uh, many times if you stay with the same insurance company. So, uh, you know, let's just say you stay in the same state. Maybe there's one big insurance company that does a lot of the nurse practitioner coverage. You're to move from one private physician owned practice to another and they use the same insurance company, then that new company would just roll over your old policy into a new one, and then you wouldn't have to pay for tail. Obviously in that scenario, it's impossible to know wherever you're gonna go next if they use the same insurance company, but one thing to think about. So that's tail insurance for a nurse practitioner. Um, it's, uh, you know, I'd say high up on the list of things that people care about when I'm reviewing a contract with them. Um, but it certainly is important to know the basics. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always call my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, or uh, you can reach us through our website, shellylaw.com. That's C-H-E-L-L-E-Law.com. And I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.